What's up family and friends? Here's an update on the garden. This is Christopher. Here's an update. So we're going to start on the border here. So I trellised a mulberry bush plant and uh, looks good. Mulberry. This one's not as grown. I planted some perennials. So these are wildflowers that are different from uh, Tractor Supply. See a little growth coming up. Planted these about maybe a week ago. Spearmint, lettuce, red lettuce, bolted lettuce, some little lettuce. So these are, we're gonna start on the border like I said, but I planted this today. Spearmint, three of those. I took uh, some extra pots I bought and took out the last two mint plants in the garden. These are all hot peppers batches and uh, these are all okra we'll get a nice okra crop growing for early spring or so a late spring early spring more okra like a week these guys came up another batch of okra I talked to a supply I picked up a big uh, bag of okra seeds here's spearmint that I just planted today that I ripped up out of the garden it had runners everywhere Another spearmint I picked up, it was only a dollar. Another okra batch, another spearmint. So this is a new addition. This is a beef steak and a cherry tomato plant. I think uh, I should have potted it out here. I nearly took, I broke apart the pot, but very pretty. It was only $11, but put it in a pot and some garden soil and just let it grow a lot of flowers on there another spearmint I just transplanted and so cauliflower brussels sprouts kale some mint here some more kale and I cut off these uh these shoots here uh, large tom tomato plant our tomatoes got some nice tomatoes on them you see that might have to pick it just let it turn red some more kale coming over here just got a tomato I think it's a beef steak and uh, some more tomatoes got some peppers from late or planted them winter but in fall some men spare grass, I don't think any much has come from there. Tomato. We got some mustard greens here. Got my trash can of chocolate mint. I think this is the strongest mint you could ever eat, but that's just my opinion. 16 five gallon buckets of uh, spearmint, peppermint chocolate mint all through here got some kale doing good since i put extra soil in there more kale i mean uh cabbage i said kale, i think some mint on the last update this mint wasn't even coming out but we'll see shortly of how it's grown very hardy herb some purple cabbage purple cabbage This is spearmint, chocolate mint, spear or uh, peppermint, peppermint. This I grew from seed, the little ones, but it's a variety in all these. Here's another trash can full of chocolate mint. Here's some jalapeno peppers, plants, pepper plants. Here's okra that survived the the, the basically the winter, but uh, still kicking bell peppers and jalapenos some more mint it's good to keep the mint on the border repels but uh, rodents and stuff I guess these are all new I just planted these no uh, I'm not sure what mint this is but it is a mint it has grown since I uh, took out all the other plants around it some more mint 
This is exciting. Margarine. Herb margarine. I heard it has lots of health benefits. Might be oregano. Yeah, it might be oregano, guys. I was wondering what that was. This might be uh, cilantro, parsley, or celery. I think it's celery, but... Alright, guys. Got something to show you. I think this is uh, rosemary, I think. Some mushrooms there, but I'm sure you the compost now. I'm using trash cans. I just put some bricks on the bottom just to give it some extra air. Uh, I just set up this trash can, popped a bunch of holes in it. The battery died on the drill, but popped some holes when it charges. But let's get inside, show you what's going on. All right, so this compost substance has been going for about a little over a month. Got some grass cuttings I just put in there a few days ago. Put some uh, chicken manure in there. Give it a little nitrogen boost. Put all the cuttings, or I mean uh, cuttings from what I eat, vegetables, fruits. It's coming along good. Uh, nice and full. Put the paper in there. Shredded paper, cardboard, all sorts of stuff, but. It's definitely uh, coming along good. We're in the garden. Some Chinese cabbage. This is really taken off. Feels nice and it does wilt when it gets hot, but it's starting to bulb up on that cabbage there. Some uh, some sage. It's a different type of sage. I got real sage over there, but got some cauliflower. Probably need to cut that. I'll go this way and I'll have to turn back. Some collard greens. This one's really taken off since the last update. Some more collard. These are all collards. Then some kale. Six plants of kale. Alright, so we have cabbage. There's still some mint running around. <laughs> really, it's running. But I took a majority of it out. A little cabbage here. It has grown with the rain and everything. It helps. Grew this pepper plant from seed a while now. Gonna uh, stake some tomatoes there. Some jalapeno plants, about 16 of them. I think I lost one maybe, not even. With six pack, it was the deal. Back the garlic chives. See, they're all seeds down there, all those green things. Wildflower seeds. Alright, so we got some nice tomatoes on there. Not sure what kind of brand they are. I'm going to use some suckers and put them on in some water, but more tomatoes. They have lost a few, you know, a whole bunch of few to the cold, but these guys stayed strong, that's for sure. Some mauve flowers, like I showed you last time, they have gotten bigger. They're pretty fast growers, these ones from Amazon. Okay. So some broccoli here. I have had some broccoli heads. New growth since I've cut the heads off. This one hasn't produced a head, but it's on its way. Wow. Well, I cut this one, guys, and it's already produced some more broccoli. Now, that's the big broccoli there. I have filet, but those are the big guys. Same here. New growth here. That's pretty cool. Now, let's go with collards. Collard greens, these are the lush ones you usually see, but they produce quite a bit. Very good to eat. Just massive leaf there. Like I said, I cut all the chives back. They have gone new growth. All right. So I picked up some red onions. Hopefully I didn't, uh... Hey, it's a moth. Get off, moth. Uh, some red onions are all through here. Try to separate them. If they were too rooted together with clay, I didn't really bother separating them. But we'll get on the other side. So I figured out what these things are on the lemongrass. They're actually seeds. Wow, I shot more. So those are all seeds up there, lemongrass seeds. We'll have to see. Cut back the lemongrass quite a bit. They didn't have any f frost or anything to damage it, so... It's nice and healthy. When it was cold, I just put a bunch of soil around the roots and that kept it warm, I guess. 
There's the beautiful rosemary. Pretty moth again. All right, guys, let's see. Some wildflowers here, there, here, there. There's the other side. All right. Sweet banana pepper plant. Kale's doing awesome here. I don't know what it is, guys. But the kale's really doing well here. Let me try to get... I haven't really walked that much over here since I planted the onions. So the kale's going strong. Should about should be about three foot when it's maxed out. I'm in flip flops. Got a broccoli head. Broccoli there. Broccoli. There's the other side of the onions. I'm trying to step on plants. So these are red onions. We'll get nice big bulbs hopefully. But I did cut them when I planted them so they grow straight up. Um, some sweet banana peppers. Got a couple on there, just one. And then, oh, a lot of food on there. Some broccoli that's stunted because it doesn't get a lot of sun. Big wildflowers. That one's about dead. But, I wonder what happens when heat comes again. And I wonder if they'll keep growing. But, you just see. Grew these from seed. They've been in here since early last spring, so it's almost been a year since I've had the garden. Moving right along. So when I walk by this mustard plant, mustard greens, Japanese giant, I can hear it go, eat me, eat me. So this is a stalk in the beginning. It was like this, and I cut it, and then all these mustard greens came up after I mean, a couple weeks, a month or two after, but. When it's in my path, it says, eat me. Pretty funny, huh? But they grow about 18 inches when they're full grown. I can eat them right now, but you get the picture. So rosemary gets about five foot, I'm thinking, when it's full grown, if you don't cut it. Look at that wildflower. So see this here, guys? This gets about 15, 18 feet tall. I never measured, but they get tall, those wildflowers I just showed you. Habanero survives the cold. Another rosemary. It's actually got some new growth to it since I've cut it. But rosemary again. I'm just going to take these okra out and then put uh, a bunch of okra in here. But those have been in there for a while. Here's uh, lemongrass. I could get to it now. Uh, this is all seeds here. All lemongrass. See, this has just got one stalk. It wasn't that big, but it's a, it has produced this season. I don't know if I got a couple things on the last update. I go on the other side, but this is dill. This was only a dollar a pop. But uh, four dill plants. They'll get about three feet tall, too, or a little higher. The little flowers. Well, they get big flowers, but... Uh, wildflower here doing well come over here another wild now pollinators love these they really do all right so i didn't know what this was called in the last update but let me smell it this is slow bolt arugula i don't know how much about it so these are very uh, mild flavor they're like not even taste like lettuce but they're very delicious Shouldn't let them flower though, I guess. Wildflower. This is wood something, and the first name wood, and then something else. Oh my gosh. Alright. Some collards, collard greens, Georgia. Um, look at the mustard in here shortly. Uh, rosemary. I mean, uh, lavender. Should have planted in pots. Doesn't like a lot of water. I might put some potting soil there, or is keeping more dry. Some cabbage under the sage tree, hanging in there. What is that? Something ate it. I know what it is. It's a uh, Brussels sprout. It's nothing ate it. All right, new addition. Need the camera straight. New addition. I think there's seven of them, but these are all parsley. Nice parsley here. In the pots that they came in, I had to cut away in the pot because 
the pot wouldn't come off it was that much of roots other side of the lemongrass I kind of get in there now when I come and cut it I have to go this way because the onions but uh, so this is a wildflower here it needs to be tied again here's the other side of this this one's not that big I use all this for compost or something who knows I think the birds like it for their nest all right guys let me all right so here's a variety of wildflowers just a variety so these are fillet broccoli now that they're growing I'll get over there but fillet broccoli it goes over there this Tabasco pepper plant uh, isn't it's it's doing all right but I have two more other ones and they're a lot more lush and more fruit or I think they're vegetable yeah peppers yeah I always go this way so mustard that'll get big I'll show you a big one of that one uh, some okra other side of the mustard I mean the dill my two large jalapeno pepper plants got quite well, a few peppers on them jalapenos I said this last time but I should have never cut the foliage of the flowers it probably shocked the plant but it's becoming the season where it's going to be producing lots of stevia I'm sure the roots are established some kale coming around collards collard greens are starting to come up now getting a little lush this was uh, back in the what, a couple months to a year there was just a uh, topsoil and manure right here so they weren't used to it got cilantro that's basil wow it survived we got some syllabot arugula coming over here all right th this is how big that mustard plant over there will get it's ready to eat me that's what it's saying i did try this one it wasn't like the japanese giant it burns your nostrils it's normal but Sure, it's very healthy still to eat. Moving right along, got more collards, collard greens. Yeah, I don't know if this is cilantro or parsley, but I did grow from seed. I did get an eggplant, guys. Wow. Yeah, I did get an eggplant. I haven't touched it yet. I want to touch it just to feel the eggplant. But I got it's over there. It's actually on the bottom of the plant, so that's good. Uh, shallots and bulb onions. These are only 99 cents for one but one one of these pots here. A whole bunch of wildflowers. I did stake them since last time. Hold up, Chris. My garden, you gotta watch out where you walk. Here, let me, come here, buddy. This is a wildflower. It's been in here for a whole year. I guess that we could call it the yearly update, I guess. It's close, spring. I started a little less before spring, but I'm sure it's gonna grow a lot more. So this cilantro is gonna seed, which I'll cut that back when I get there. Probably all the top fall I put it with. So right there was six of these, but there's only about one fully growing. There was six of these, but I don't know what happened, but that's kale lemon bomb palm whatever this is the other tabasco pe pepper plant this is a lush one the other one closest to the house gets less sun actually it's more lush another cilantro shooting its seeds we'll get that i gotta do some trimming guys uh the lettuce here hey froggy we get a camera where is he froggy it's about a thousand insects a night. Something like that, that's just to say. Every time I cut these flowers, they just come back on the lettuce, so. Gotta do something with them. But, uh. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, bell pepper, it's got some new bells. Uh, that one's turning red, but. Uh, ate one or two. I think I got two of them recently. Uh, pepper plant that was I mean a tomato plant that was tall, but it did come back 
Here's shallots. You got a lot of onion greens in the freezer in there. This tomato plant didn't make it. The reason why it's dug up down here because there was a mint growing wild. No more though. It'll be a little bit, but peppers that I grew from seed. More of those wood lettuce greens here. They do taste good, I'll say. Here's a beautiful Tabasco pepper plant. Shot out its second fruit or vegetable. And uh, they are hot and juicy. That's good. So turnip greens and turnips. A couple got real big bulbs to them. They need to be harvested. but Nice turnip greens here and turnips. Got some snap peas, trellis them and staked them and put more stakes. Got some wildflowers I planted probably five months ago or eight months ago. Celery. Here's celery. I think there are six plants maybe, maybe 12. I can count them, but oh well. Celery is doing good. Keep it nice and moist and it should take off. Here's a oregano. Some uh, snap peas. Does help putting the steaks in there. I shouldn't have worn these flip flops, guys. These ones fall off too easy. Some collard greens and some cow manure and topsoil. Some uh, fillet broccoli, about 22, 24 of them. Pretty good. Tastes like broccoli, you know. All right, we're gonna go look at. Uh, wait a minute. They're growing. I did pop one out on accident because. I was ripping up that guy, the mint. Yeah. But carrots coming in nice. A little bulb on them. I don't know if you call them bulb, but. Well, on camera. Wildflowers, I staked them and tied them. They do grow rootsies types if they're on the soil, which isn't bad, but. I guess we'll go this way and we'll turn around and go the other way. Seeds everywhere. Alright, so shallots. And bulbs. Got some cabbage here. Cabbage, cabbage. Oh, sweating. Big, like I'm saying, guys, 20 feet tall, these guys. Need to get a shot in a day to show you how big they are. Uh, blueberry bush. Raspberries are coming back slowly but surely. Uh, my favorite lemon balm. I think it's pronounced looks like it's coming back from the root system but or cabbage 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 got some garlic chives harvested them they are growing back that's good and uh this broccoli i don't know what the deal is with it but uh it always shoots its flowers must be a sun thing i don't know not enough sun but uh, here's some cabbage. It looks like it's a big cabbage, it looks like. There's the eggplant, fellas. I'm gonna pick it and fry it. That's what we'll do. Looks like it needs to be picked. You can hand pollinate these very easily in the morning or midday. But uh, this is the bigger one compared to the smaller one over there, plant. But maybe we'll have to hand pollinate them or something but big eggplant plant aim or time actually time I think not sure fellows wildflower same as the other one over there but uh, plant at the same time same type of pot crest but it's dill it's coming up nice staked a basil plant that survived the winter so this tomato here, all these tomatoes, producing already, shot out from what was tall, the way up there, ran out of steak, cut it back, and when I fertilized it with manure and topsoil, shot up a bunch of baby tomato plants. Here's Greek oregano, has grown since I've cut it. Think about herbs, they grow when they cut them. Uh, some mustard, mustard. Oh yeah, uh, parsley here, it's just the regular parsley. Sage has gotten bigger, and then more of that uh, 
lettuce, wood something, I can't remember the name. More mustards, I think I got it. And, uh, oh yeah. So this is actually where the only mint is, actually. I think that's arugula. Yeah, it's arugula with mint. And there's that wildflower. Got some weeds in there. This is and the other eggplant shows, other eggplant plant. I did pop some bamboo stakes to air out, get some water inside when I have you water it. But uh should be good to try. And I didn't think about it. This is a tine oregano. I was supposed to move it, but it seems like it's doing okay. It has grown quite a bit since last update. Alright guys, that's the update. Please leave a comment in your thoughts. And uh, have a good day and night, guys. Peace.